I am a big fan of boxing. I love it almost as much as I love mixed martial arts, and I've been doing it for almost as long. It's just a fantastic sport. But there are things I don't like about boxing. For instance, I absolutely hate American boxing promoters and American boxing commissions. They are some of the worst, just horrible human beings on earth. There are just some disgusting things these people do. Like, uh, for example, you remember the um, Manny Pacquiao fight with Timothy Bradley where Manny Pacquiao basically won like 10 or 11 out of 12 rounds and he lost the fight? It's like everyone knows who won the fight. The statistics clearly show Pacquiao completely dominated. Some awful and or paid off judge somewhere decides he loses. And that's the kind of things that go on in American boxing. Furthermore, let's look at the last Floyd Mayweather Jr. fight. Here are some stories from ESPN and USA Today. Mayweather makes it look easy defeating Guerrero. A story from ESPN Go. Floyd Mayweather Jr. dominates. If you've seen that fight, he didn't dominate Guerrero at all. I could see the argument where he won, but it was a completely back and forth fight and Guerrero really worked Mayweather's body. It wasn't domination in the slightest. Floyd Mayweather Jr. did a good job escaping from Guerrero's punches, but Guerrero landed a lot of body shots. Keep in mind that on the day of the Floyd Mayweather Jr. fight, Vladimir Klitschko fought an unbeaten Italian heavyweight and actually did dominate him. He controlled the entire fight and then won by just a brutal TKO that could literally kill a human being. Meanwhile, Mayweather is the pound-for-pound pound best, cause he's running around the ring! And I'm not just looking at the latest fights, that would be presumptuous. The fact is, over the past decade, Mayweather has been in back-and-forth wars that could've gone either way, whereas Vladimir Klitschko held both of the Klitschkos, have completely dominated every opponent for, for the last decade. Boxing has always just been really, really corrupt at the grassroots level in America. I mean, hell, you couldn't even get a title shot in the 40s, no matter how good you were, unless you got the nod from some, um, quote-unquote, union delegates, wink-wink. But here is Boxing Bonanza, and this has nothing to do with the American promoters of boxing. This really has not much to do with actual boxing in general. Boxing Bonanza is a free online game that's kind of an arcade boxing game. It's basically like Punch-Out. In fact, it's more or less identical to Punch-Out. You press left, right, and back to evade enemies' attacks. You hold Z to block, you press X and forward to do punches to the head, and then you just press X to do punches to the body. You also press the space bar to do specials when your special meter is filled up. The fight starts off evenly, and then whoever knocks down their opponent three times is the winner via TKO. It's pretty simple. You have five different opponents to fight, and all of them have their own special little attacks or ways to defeat them, just like in Punch-Out. I mean, like I said, this game is pretty much identical to Punch-Out. The opponents are pretty easy, except the last one. He's a little bit harder. His strategy is a little more tough to figure out, but I still beat him the second time I fought him. Where this game gets challenging is after you actually win the belt and start defending it. That's when all these same fighters that you fought previously, they are now a lot harder. They punch harder and have a lot more challenging techniques that you have to time and avoid. This game basically gets pretty challenging after you start defending the belt and not actually climbing through the ranks to get the belt. The graphics are great, the sound effects are fantastic, there's really not much bad you can say about this game, it's a free version of Punch-Out! I mean, I could kinda see where people would be disappointed with this game if they only like realistic boxing, but this game is very clearly a Punch-Out clone, so anyone with half a brain would know right away this isn't going to be Fight Night. Boxing Bonanza is ultimately a really great game you should check out. It gets an official Stan Burden rating of an 8.8 .8 out of 10. And the American boxing promoters and commissions get an official Stan Burden rating of a 1 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.